I'm a guitar teacher and we put on a performance every year and we've done Zombie by the Cranberries. But every time that we do this performance, I always like heavily modify the songs because they're like brand new, you know, students learning how to play guitar. So I gotta, I gotta modify it for them. And I gotta admit, I've never actually watched the full music video to Zombie. And in fact, like I've now just heard it so often through my modified way of doing it that I'm kind of thinking to myself like, when's the last time I've actually heard the original Zombie? So that's what we'll be watching today. Uh, zombie, the Cranberries. Kids are loving the Cranberries today. They're loving the Cranberries. I have like students always like asking me about the Cranberries. And it's funny because my students last year when we did it for the guitar performance, didn't even realize like, what we were doing. All right, let's get into this. See, like right away, I'm noticing something that I definitely don't do with the, with my students. There's like a slight, like little riff thing going on in the background, or maybe like arpeggioing, you know, in the background that we don't do that. We just play the chords. Also, I didn't realize like this is actually pretty heavy hitting. Like all of a sudden, the it all comes in and it's like nice and distorted. Yeah, we play it clean. We we basically arpeggiate chords in our guitar performance, and uh. And, and just play like the straight little strumming pattern that's going on, but no like, you know, distortion in it and all that. Okay, so this is where I get into like, I'm, I'm wanting to know what the message of this music video is because there's some metaphor for sure going on in here. She looks like, I would imagine Cleopatra. There's a cross behind her though. And then, and then there's also like, I don't know, the, the kids below her remind, remind me of this like Greek stuff going on. I, what, what is, I'm wondering if I will be able to figure out the metaphor in this music video. I'm sure I could like look it up online. Again, if there's one thing I do on this can channel very consistently, it is embarrass myself because I tote myself as like this music lover. I'm, I play guitar. I played in, in bands growing up and, uh, and I literally teach public school kids how to play guitar, but there's a lot of things I just don't know about music. Like as far as just like bands go, right? Like somehow that knowledge just like skipped my brain. I think it's because I just got so into learning the instrument that eventually I fell out of like knowing the nuances in the bands. Does that make sense? Like not keeping up with like, well, who's in the band and, and where do they come from and, and all that stuff. I'm, I'm, as my students say, yapping away. But I just wanted to mention like, I didn't realize that it wasn't an all female band. I thought it was just an all-female band. I was wrong. Uh, very wrong. Uh, and then as far as the metaphor go goes, I am definitely noticing it's like people being captive, oppressed, right? But what's the clear Cleopatra like cross thing going on?
and all these like flashes going on again may embarrass myself here but i don't know exactly what time period they're from or like what oppressors they are isn't the isn't um cranberries irish the irish band again going to going to embarrass myself probably here but um musically musically i love it it's so good uh you definitely notice like the the more tinny sound and that could have been like the way that they recorded it as far as like the drums don't sound as deep as low as like round as they sound more like tinny and whatnot it, but i think they do like an excellent job at mixing this grunge this distorted sound with also these like clean little delays like the the other guitarist there during the verses just kind of um picking slowly raking through those strings and you hear this nice kind of buttery clean uh reverb i think there's some delay on it i like the dynamics here Be it's the same there's this interesting uh like parallel to, to me it seems like there's an interesting kind of like parallel that they're showing between like the kids and then there's like the soldiers and how even the kids are then oppressing this other child right and then you have the soldiers oppressing them again i'm just trying to connect the dots here i get real into trying to understand the meaning both behind like lyrics and definitely like the visual components you know i enjoy it And so if you didn't know, understand what I meant earlier with like the, the tinniness of the sound, listening to that little snare drum right there as they, as he does that like real quick type of roll, you may notice like it's not a, it's not a deep sounding, uh, snare drum. Right. And that could be for two reasons. It could be, it could have been like the way that they recorded it back then just didn't have as full as bassy of as round as a, uh, a sound or, or it could really just be that the, the drum is a shallow drum. It's not too deep of a drum. All right, what's happening here? See, there's like a distortion on that guitar, but then you got this like clean delay in the background. All right, yeah, I got. I gotta say, I, I never fully, I never fully picked up on the metaphor with the Cleopatra cross type thing going on. If you understand what it means, which you probably do, a lot of people on here are a lot smarter than me about music videos and 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 getting into that stuff. And that's what I love. I love reading the comments and then like learning new things about the stuff that I that I'm watching. Uh, so let me know about it. 
because I, I couldn't really fully piece it together. Clearly it's a song about like oppression and, and the hurt that comes out of it and all of that. Um, yeah, I never even noticed like the, the guitar. I never even noticed the guitar solos at the end and how strong it ends. Because again, like when, when we do this for uh, school, I literally just strip it down to four chords. We are page eight through it. We do a little bit of an accent on it, like a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, we hit that type of beat with it, but thank you for watching.